each of the 50 poses provided in this app. When you look through, I actually have provided the camera settings and the information, including lens choice. I want to touch briefly on why I choose the lenses that I use. There are four or five lenses I use regularly. Honestly, I try to keep it simple. I don't want to carry too much equipment around. A lot of times on a wedding, I do need a zoom lens because there's a lot of movement. On one camera, I'll have a 24 to 70 2.8, and on the other camera, I'll have um, a 70 to 200 2.8. So I have everything from 24 to 200 at 2.8. The reason that's important is when I'm shooting at 2.8, I can let a lot of light in. Uh, the bokeh of the lens kind of gives you this nice blur in the background. It'll really, the, the narrow depth of field is really going to focus the eye on the subjects. Um, also, you know in weddings, a lot of times you don't have control over the lighting situations. A lot of times it's kind of dark, it's not ideal lighting, so being able to shoot at 2.8 is ideal. Now looking at this pop photo posing app, uh, when you're looking at these wedding poses, you'll notice many of the lenses I use are 1.4 or 1.8. I'm shooting wide open. I'm using really, really fast lenses. Uh, when I have control over the situation, when I'm posing a bride and a groom, I'll shoot with these really fast lenses because I love that bokeh. I love that blur in the background. That's what bokeh means. It's the, the pattern of the lens, the beautiful blur. So if you look over and over again at many of these poses, I was shooting with an 85 millimeter 1.4 or a 50 millimeter 1.4. Now, if you don't have those lenses, that's fine. Um, you can use other lenses. But in general, if you can shoot 2.8 or wider, you're probably going to enjoy the results better. It's going to give you more simplified background. And for a wedding, you want that romantic, dreamy feel. Now, 1.4 and 1.2, 1.8, it's very, very narrow depth of field. So if your subjects are moving, you might get it out of focus. Uh, this is a thing where practice makes perfect, um, but a lot of times I don't shoot at 1.4. I'll actually shoot at something like 2.0. It still gives me that romantic blur, um, but at the same time I have a little bit more depth of field to work with in case they are moving. So for weddings, I definitely have other things I add to my kit, but most of the time I'm shooting 24 to 70 2.8, 70 to 200 2.8. 51.4 or 85, uh, 85 1.4. I have other things I throw into the mix. You know, I have my fisheye if I want to do something crazy. I have wider shots when I want the bride and the groom in a grand scene. But in general, a combination of two or four lenses is going to give you the results that you need.